Hi, my name is Simon Plant and I'm a photographer and I run uh, ProphotoInsights.net. I'm going to show you um, a quick tutorial on one of my images here. Um, many years ago, uh, when darkroom printing was still um, done uh, in, in mass, um, there was a technique uh, people used to use on black and white prints. Uh, the chemicals, I can't remember the technical name for it, it was, it was liquid light and it's basically a bleach and the it would enable you to paint on the chemical in certain areas to uh, highlight and increase the contrast. I believe in in certain in certain areas, so it would help you draw your eye into that part of the print and um, basically give a nice uh, like a glow to the uh, to the print. So I'm going to show you a digital way of doing that in, in within uh, in, within Photoshop. Um, here's my finished uh, picture, uh, which was shot um, down in the southwest of England uh, a while ago. Um, it was um, the day after a very bad storm um, in the summer and um, I just wanted to do some really nice long exposures uh, at uh, dusk and um, I wanted to, uh, when I got this image back into Photoshop, I uh, did uh, quite a lot of work on it, as I'll show you. And um, and the this idea of uh, highlighting just certain parts of the image um, is a technique I, I used on this particular shot. So I'll just show you some of the layers that go into this. First of all, I'm going to show you the actual uh, raw image uh, as we started with. As you see, it's a lot lighter than what I finished up with. Um, and uh, basically, you know, the best idea when you're photographing any kind of scene is to uh, get as much light onto the sensor as possible. And you can always darken the picture down, but if you lighten stuff too much uh, or, or darken stuff too much, you're going to run into problems. If you lighten stuff too much, you're going to obviously clip the highlights and you will just have no information in that end of the tonal range. If you darken too much, uh, when you come to lighten the picture in post-production, um, uh, in Photoshop, uh, Camera Raw, what have you, you're gonna uh, you're gonna be able to lighten the image, but you're gonna gain a lot of noise and uh, unwanted side effects. So always try and uh, get your exposures as as, as closely. Uh, you know, correct as possible, and if in doubt, just a little bit overexposure is better than underexposing too much. But uh, if in doubt, just bracket. That's my uh, uh, be my advice. Okay, so I'm going to take you through some of the adjustments uh, I made on this uh, particular image. Um, obviously, I wanted to darken the picture down. Now, um, if I just go and show you how I did that, um, if I go to Curves uh, and make it a Curves Adjustment Layer. Now, if I just darken this image, it's going to uh, darken the whole scene, uh, which may be what you want, it may not be. Um, it's not always the way I want to work. So, what I would do is, is basically do that. Um, and then click OK, um, but then go back into make sure your uh, make sure your uh, adjustment layer is highlighted. Um, set your foreground color to black. Um, just make sure that is black, probably black. Yep. And then get the paint bucket tool and just fill that adjustment layer with black, and that takes away the adjustment. Uh, a little phrase always good to remember, especially um, in this video, is uh, white reveals black conceals that uh, means that anything in white on a layer mask is going to allow the adjustment to flow through anything in black is going to hold back the, that adjustment so at the moment we fill this adjustment layer with black and that's holding back the adjustment and all I did um, with uh, with this layer is got the gradient tool and basically um, made the adjustment layer I allow the top of the picture to have the adjustment and that didn't affect the lower reasons as I will toggle for you now so you can see this dark in the sky but it hasn't affected so much the bottom and this adjustment layer is very soft as you see I just uh, click on the layout with the alt key uh, pressed in and you can see the adjustment there so uh, that's how I produced that layer which is this one here so it's just dark in the sky I then did the same thing again but I just darkened the um, the foreground of the picture and um, like so um, so it just gives you that little bit more um, uh, flexibility really so you know if maybe you want uh, the sky to be slightly darker than the uh, the sea uh, or so forth um, and that's a, a, I think a better way uh, of doing it my next layer on this one was an, uh, an adjustment layer due to for the color 
and I basically just tweak these settings again so just a, a layer a layer just a layer um, and, and not I'm not working directly on the image um, and so you can go back and forth in that if you want to with this this one I just kind of took a little bit of the blue out of the picture um, like so um, and uh, Again, I can go back in there if I decide at a later stage to change my mind slightly. I can go back in and, uh, and, and adjust that. Just while we're on the subject, uh, I didn't, didn't mention, when you're making um, an adjustment layer, I'll just show you again. Let's say we make a, a curve adjustment layer and we really darken the picture down like so. Uh, not that much, we're going back a little bit. Um, obviously, another side effect, which sometimes you want, sometimes you won't, is that it actually also shifts the colour and makes the colours uh, a lot more saturated. Now, if you don't want that in your picture, all you need to do is go into that layer and change the mode from normal to luminosity. And that, as you can see, I'll just toggle that back on again. That's luminosity mode. That's normal. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't. Uh, it allows you to make the adjustment without the colour colour shift. So that's something to bear in mind. I didn't worry about that on these layers. It didn't uh, didn't really matter to me. Uh, in fact, it's just quite nice to have more color in there. Um, then I did another curves adjustment. Now this is a global one, but it's a, it was a little bit more a uh, little bit more um, controlled. Um, but it was a global one for the whole picture. Um, this layer. Uh, is something I do quite often. It's uh, I just show you the layer. I've basically um, done another curves layer, but I'm only allowed that curves layer to adjust the edges. If I just talk about that off, just the edges of the image. So what that in fact does, it allows. Um, the eye to be sort of kept within the in the center of the frame where where all the action is going on, and uh, just darkens the outer edges. Um, this one is where I've I've just basically done a, a lightning adjustment layer here, like so. Again, I filled it with black, and then I've painted back in the adjustment just in the area here. Then, if you toggle that back on, you can see I've just lightened the sea again. That's all to do with you know drawing the viewer's attention into that area of the picture. Um, then I've done the same sort of thing again. Uh, but this time I've again painted in um, the other parts of the the waves um, with the paintbrush tool, and then I've done again the same with the sky, the clouds, and obviously you get a lot of control over this. I mean, we can go back in here and really brighten those up, uh, but obviously it would look a bit a bit naff and false. But uh, it just um, it just adds a very subtle highlighting two parts of the image uh, if I turn the sea off again and the sky and again because we're on adjustment layers you can go in and you can adjust these um, you can even go into the individual channels as I've done on this one and just alter the colour very slightly uh, either cool the picture down or warming it up either way uh, so that's another little trick you can go into but I won't uh, I won't confuse you too much um, and again, you can use these on in normal mode, or if you find there's a bit of a colour shift that you don't want, just change it to luminosity, like so, and that will take any nasty colour shifts um, out of the uh, out of the layer. Um, then my final bit, which you may not see on here, the lighthouse in the background here. I just so I'm going to try and zoom in on this a little bit, but I've um, I've downsized this image to screen resolution at 72 DPI, just to allow me to be a bit more fluid with the screencast. Otherwise, it's a big, huge uh, image, of uh, several hundred megabytes, and it uh, slows things right down. Uh, so the resolution is not as high um, on this. But if I just turn this off, what I've done here is just added. Um, just added a, a couple of layers and uh, I've just painted in um, with uh, my paintbrush tool just to um, add a little bit more light to the lighthouse in the background because it was uh, it wasn't very bright and the way I've done this I'll just show you this um, very quickly is I've added a layer and just very simply painted in with my paintbrush tool and with white uh, not that big uh, I basically just kind of dabbed a bit of white on the picture like so. I've then um, gone to uh, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and just then blurred that. You can see it now, it's softening up. Um, just blurred that slightly. 
just back off there um, and then you can change again change the mode to somewhere like uh, screen or overlay or any of these um, I think I use overlay on that one and again it just um, just helps um, the uh, draw attention um, to that area of the picture uh, it's all about guiding viewers uh, viewers eyes through your image and get them to uh, go where you want them to and that's obviously a lot more achievable if you use these kind of adjustment layers and uh, use like the liquid light type technique um, just to help emphasize uh, certain parts of the image so before we finish I'm just going to take you through the technique um, on a layer just so that we're absolutely uh, sure uh, of what uh, what I'm talking about um, hopefully you hopefully you are um, so I'm just going to uh, I've turned off this uh, clouds adjustment layer which is the one I produced for that part of the image and I'm just going to take you through the stages of doing that so basically I add a curves adjustment layer um, and then I brighten that area of the, of the picture maybe add a little bit more contrast as well um, you can go a little bit OTT on that, it doesn't matter because you can always drop the opacity of the layer down uh, from here uh, if it's too much. So uh, so that's our adjustment layer. I'm now going to fill that with black, foreground to black and fill that adjustment layer. Make sure your, uh, your layer is selected and then I can get my uh, paintbrush tool again with uh, make sure this time that the white is set for the foreground color and I can basically just go in and gradually just paint in the areas that we want to be lightened so lots of control now you notice uh, hopefully you will in the video here it'll pick it up um, we've got a bit of a color shift so as I've told you before all you gotta do is go to your uh, layer mode and change that to luminosity and that just gets rid of as if by magic that color cast so you can just carry on now if you do make a, a big mistake um, like that or something a bit uh, not maybe as bad as that you can change uh, press X on your keyboard or just select here the foreground to black and then you can basically take that away by painting with black so remember white reveals black conceals so you can take take away that with uh, with the black as a foreground color um, and yeah, so just carry on like that. Now, obviously, you don't have to be an adjustment layer, um, a curves adjustment layer. You can do it with color balance, uh, for instance. So here, um, I'll redo this one as well, so we know uh, know what's going on. Um, so we can make a, a color balance adjustment layer, maybe, um, and change the colors to something horrible, like so. And uh, again, fill that with uh, black. Uh, make sure your foreground is now set to white paint paintbrush tool um, and then you can just paint that in uh, if you wanted to uh, obviously that's a bit uh, you wouldn't uh, if you were sane uh, do that but uh, it just gives you a good example uh, there so yes yeah, so a very powerful uh, very powerful uh, uh, technique there uh, to use um, and just again it's all about control and you can obviously uh, quite easily control uh, where you want to paint in the adjustments um, and uh, as I said uh, just you're just trying to really just um, get people's draw people's eye into the image and take them where you want them to go and uh, that's really what it's all about um, so uh, that's one way of doing it Anyway, well, I hope that was uh, of interest, and uh, no doubt uh, I'll come back with a, with another uh, another tutorial, hopefully very shortly. Um, if you've got any comments, if you've got any uh, comments about this video, um, any difficulties, then drop me a line. It's uh, Simon at ProPhotoInsights.net, and um, I'll try and uh, I'll try and explain anything that's uh, not clearly understood. Anyway, till next time. Thanks for watching. Cheers.